Hey guys, what's up? Happy Tuesday. Okay, so I think I always say this. I've got something really special and fun to show you today, but I really, really mean this this time because this package came to me from one of you guys, and I have just never had that happen before. This was a total random act of kindness, and I just, quite honestly, I was just blown away with this generosity. I've just, I've just never had anybody do that for me before, and I just thought it was absolutely so sweet. So, um, like I said, this is one of you guys. Um, her name is Christine. She's super sweet. Um, she watches my videos, hey girl, um, and um, follows me on Instagram, and I follow her back too. And she does um, demos and posts some really cool um, bath bomb pictures and things like that. So we follow each other. And um, she actually won one of the smaller lots in my um, last giveaway. And so she said, well, just be on the lookout for something because I got something for you and I'm sending it to you in the mail um, because you give away a lot of things on your channel. I'm gonna try not to get emotional. <laughs> um, and I just think that you're really deserving to get something from somebody and so I just really thought that I'd like to send you some things and I just thought that was so sweet. I just like, I can't stand it. So um, that was a couple weeks ago and then when I got this in the mail, the company that it's from, I have never tried, and I'm pretty sure that she knows uh, just from comments that she's seen different places that I really wanted to try this place. It's a really cool place. It's over in the UK, and um, so and y'all can't see this, but it's written on the top of this box. So the company wrote, this was ordered as a random act of kindness for you from Christine, and we love random acts of kindness. So we added in... It's, it's a whipped, um, I think it's a whipped scrub or a whipped soap as an extra one from us and then some extra samples. So they just paid that forward. And it's so I'm already loving this company. Um, I have already unboxed this and looked through it, but I was going to do, you know, obviously going to do a video and show you guys what's in here too. So um, anyway, let's just get started. But thank you so much, sweetie. That was just so sweet. And I did get very emotional when I opened it, but I can't believe how many things are in here and how cool all this stuff is. So, like I said, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so these two products are the same scent and they're called, the scent is called, let's get a little closer, Drama Llama. And these are some really, really cute names of these products too. Okay, so the scent for Drama Llama is Mexican Lime, Neruli Frankincense, and that's rounded off with candied bergamot, jasmine, tangy orange, and a slight vanilla musk. Okay, now this is bath bomb dust. And it's got all different colors in it. So it's going to be pretty powdery. I don't want to spill it everywhere. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that so pretty? Now, y'all know that I'm going to dump all that in at <laughs> once. But, um, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what I think of the scent. I'm going to look at the profile one more time. Um, oh, gosh, it's just good. I don't know. That just smells like a nice blend of all of those. Oh, it's just really, really good. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. There, there are just a lot of notes in there, and it sounds like they just really, they just make like custom blends and things like that on their own. So, I don't know. I can't put my finger on any specific notes, but that smells really really good and then so this is the same scent like I said and this is a body scrub now she sent me all kinds of different products which is awesome and just just kind of tell you what I know about this company I've gone to their website before and I do this with companies sometimes sometimes companies will have so many things I like or want to try that will keep me from ordering and this is one of those companies so the fact that she sent me several different kinds of products was was so thoughtful it was so so cool so anyway um this is a whipped body scrub in the same scent and it looks really really scrubby and i love that of course i love all different kinds of sugar scrubs because they each kind of serve their own purpose depending on what your needs are that day and where you're at in your you know, with your bathing, whether you're in the shower, whether you need to shave, or whether you're in the tub. So, oh, that smells so good. Mm, oh my gosh, that smells really, really good. And it's really pretty. Okay, 
So moving on. So that's the drama llama. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next is the Candyland scent. Of course, that sounds right up my alley. Now this is, I think this is bath bomb dust. It just looks like it's packed so tightly. It looked like it might be sugar scrub or something like that, but it's not. I think this is bath bomb. Um, and it's, I don't know if you guys can see, it's super, super sparkly. Okay. So let's check this one out. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this has like, I think these are soaps. Little unicorn soaps on top. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. Look. There's a purple one in there too, but I'm not going to dig it out. Look how cute. Okay, so, oh, this is sweet. This is so sweet. Okay, let me get my notes here. Okay. So, this is scented in the Candyland, is Candy Floss, Marshmallow, and Cupcake. And this has um, cacao butter in it and almond oil. So, this should be really moisturizing. So, it's got little unicorns in it, and it's super, super sparkly. So, that's going to be awesome. It smells so good. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to leave that. Now, watch me, watch me tip that over. I'm going to leave that out. That's just too freaking cute. Okay, okay, so we'll move on now. Um, this, this is in the same scent too, so I'll do this one next. Okay, so this is the Candyland Soap, and you can see that it's got like the same color scheme with the pink and the purple, and um, I'm going to open this so you can see it better. Sorry if the paper is just, sorry if you don't like that sound. Now, I did read this on the website about these soaps. God, this is huge for a soap. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's similar to, oh, my gosh. Now, I think they do some Lush dupes. Well, I know they do some Lush dupes, but this smells like, is this like snow cake? Oh, my gosh. I'm not sure. It smells like it might smell like snow cake. Oh my gosh. Okay, now the scent profile on this, look at this soap. It's a little different than the Candyland Bath Bomb, but just a little bit. So it's probably the same scent. But what I have written down is birthday cake, marshmallow, buttercream frosting, and sugared icing. And they don't make too many of these or they sell it quickly or whatever because it says that the unicorn, um, it's obviously soap, but they're all handmade, hand carved, however you want to say it, and so they take a long time to make, so I don't know that they make a whole lot of them, so I think it's really cool to get my hands on one of these, um, and they are SLS free, and these are vegan friendly, so, um, oh my gosh, I don't know that I'll be using this anytime soon, I'll probably look at it for a while and smell it for a while, that smells like snow cake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've never had any. I've only had a wax in snow cake and it was so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's definitely a hit. Okay. Now I've got two more products. I think, I think two more. Okay. Now this is the cookie dough. This has always caught my eye when I was looking on their website. Now this is a shower whip. Now I wasn't sure exactly what that meant. So this is what I looked up. This is what it says. Um, okay. So it says, this is a very, very versatile product and you could scoop it into the tub and use it as a bubble bath or you can use it as a body wash in the shower or a shaving foam. So how cool is that? How cool is that? So I'll have to try this out a couple of different ways. And the color of it is just awesome, of course. It just, oh, it's like Cookie Monster color with a little like Chips Ahoy looking cookie on there and I'm sure that's soap. Oh, okay, so this smells like Oh my God, it smells like cookies, obviously, but the description on here is just, well, it just says freshly baked cookies, but it, 
a lot of times scents like these aren't very strong. This one's really strong and it smells really good. Like there's no fake undertone. Oh my gosh. And it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love that. Absolutely love it. So it looks really, really smooth. It looks very interesting. It doesn't look like any whipped soap I've had before. I don't know, I can't wait to try that. So I think it might be a little different than just regular whipped soap. Okay, let's see. Okay, now this is the one that um, Happy Place, did I say this was Happy Place Cosmetics? I'm sure you read that already, but, um, from the title, but I just get so excited. Did I tell you guys that? I know that you can see it listed on here too, but anyway, so this one is from Happy Place, and this is also a shower whip. Now, this is the Queen Bee scent, and a lot of these, you guys, if you want to go try out this company, a lot of these are sold out. Now, I'm not exactly sure how they do their restocks, but I think when they restock, a lot of these really popular scents sell out uh, pretty quickly, so, um, yeah, this is, this is one of the ones that's sold out, and I think most of these are um, right now sold out. So, anyway, the Queen Bee is scented in caramel, honey, and cream. Um, yeah, caramel and honey and cream. Okay, so this is also the Shower Whip. Same thing as we just looked at. Oh, my gosh. Now, I hadn't opened that one yet. Mm. Now, it's not quite as sweet. Well, I just smelled the cookie dough. It, rem it reminds me, like, I pick up the honey, like the honey I wash the kids. It's not that sweet. I mean, I don't think it's a dupe for that, but that's what it reminds me of a little bit. Because I smell that, that undertone in there. That is so, so pretty. Y'all, these are big, too. Um, I don't know that it has the size on there. And if it did, it would probably be in a different amount than, like, what I'm used to seeing because it's um, from the UK. But, um... And this is big. It's heavy, too. It's like they're really dense and thick. Um, okay, so I think that's it. Now, they did put, like I said, they put a couple of um, sample soaps in here. So, this is the Marie soap. Um, that scent, I think I wrote it down. Okay, that scent is sugared strawberry, whipped vanilla musk, and Parisian praline. Let me see if I can open it real quick. And everything is packaged really well. Obviously, this came from a long way away, and everything is absolutely perfect. Nothing spilled. Okay. These are big samples. Oh, my gosh. This smells really good. This smells like, and I hate to keep referring to this, but, um, I mean, I, they do, I really think they do Lush dupes. So, to me, this smells like Lush really good really really good I don't smell like it's not like fresh strawberry or anything like that it's just a really pretty um, kind of sweet just really really pretty blend what does this smell like to me you know I'm just rambling but it smells like some kind of lush that I really <laughs> that I like that I can't think of I told you I'm not good with lush but if I smell something that reminds me of it I, I know right on that it's lush because to me lush has like kind of they may smell different, but it still smells like Lush. Um, they're different scents. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but it does to me. Okay, so um, there's a little sample of the Marie. Now, they also have a scent called Regina, and that is a yummy mummy dupe. And I know that a lot of people were really excited about that and um, went to Happy Place to pick up some things that were scented in Regina when yummy mummy did not come out Let's see. Or maybe they're worried it won't come out this summer. I'm not sure. But anyway, something about missing missing out on Yummy Mummy recently or worried that they might. Because um, I think it comes out in the summer. Is that right? Um, anyway, so if you're Jones and for Yummy Mummy, they have a dupe. That's kind of my point. Yeah, that's my point. Okay, now this one, okay, I don't have a scent profile for this one. This is the Baju Soap. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that smells like at all. But it's really pretty. I've seen it. It's um, like a pyramid. 
It's a multicolored pyramid, if you can see. I guess I should get up a little closer. There's definitely shimmer in it. Yeah, I have no idea what that smells like. It's a really nice scent. It might be kind of, I'm going to be totally wrong. It might be kind of earthy, but a little tart at the same time. I'm so bad at this. That's why I always have lists and notes. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is so awesome. Okay, now you guys tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about all these. They're absolutely adorable. It's so funny. I think this, this to me might smell the best, this soap, and it's artisan 100%. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. This smells really, really good. Um, I can't wait to try the, the whipped, um, what do they call it? I keep wanting to say whipped scrub, whipped soap, sugar whip. What is it? Shower whip, shower whip. That's right. Um, so I just can't wait, but I don't know. The drama llama is going to be really, really pretty the bath bomb of that. So, I don't know. I just can't wait. But I just, I cannot believe that somebody sent me all this stuff. It was so, so sweet. Um, I'm definitely going to have to pay this forward. I'm just going to have to figure out exactly what I want to do. So, um, I don't know. Just maybe look for me to, to do something for one of you guys like this because um, I know I do giveaways and things like that. That's not like a 100% um, altruistic because I ask you guys to do something for me too, but um, I'm definitely going to have to pay this forward. So thank you, Christine. I appreciate it. Um, I love it all. It's awesome. But um, let me know if any of you guys have tried Happy Place Cosmetics and I can't wait to start doing some of these demos. So thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.